Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this picture of a brick wall and asked me how you could draw a brick wall. And, and they said, yes, it does not have to look exactly like that brick wall. One, this, has, this brick wall actually has like a texture or dimples. And this is really easy and kind of fun. You need to just draw out a brick and I would make it uh, somewhat uniform in size with even numbers because you can rescale it at any time. And also I'm going to right now do it. I'm going to, with nothing selected, I'm going to double click on the tool, make the graphic. I always draw in hairline. So I'm going to make these like one and a half points in black, everything I draw lines and everything. So we're going to redraw that box now and you'll see the difference. It's black and wow. I drew it exactly the same size. So, and the reason you want it uh, somewhat symmetrical or even numbers, because this thing is three inches long, so now we can change our nudge factor to three inches and control D and make a duplicate. But before we do that, let's go ahead and color that brick. Let's take the Smart Fill tool and Tell you what, right now we're just going to make it this red and then we can go down here and hold down the control button and add a little darker, make it a little darker. Now I'm going to look at my outline and my outline's good enough. I'm going to go ahead and step that outline up a little bit in, in um, width. I'm going to make it two points and I'm going to scale it with object because later on we're going to change that. Now I've changed my nudge factor to three, so we're going to control D and make a duplicate. And you see my lines going across there to make the bricks. Now, if you remember, we're one and a half inches tall. So we're going to change our nudge factor. Well, let's see, how tall are we? One and a half. Change our nudge factor one and a half and control D and go like that. Now one and a half is half of the three, so we're going to go like that. Don't worry about this, the pieces that are laying over. Control D and just hit it twice. Control D and you have a brick wall. Now, how do you take the ends off this brick wall? Well, first of all, I'm going to select everything and I'm going to go up to object. And I'm going to convert it to a curve. And what that's going to allow me to do is to take this with my shape tool holding down the control button, and I'm gonna get half bricks, which would be, would be the real case. This is gonna take just a second, and I am gonna go ahead and do both sides just to, whoop. And I'm using the control button to get a perfect, uh, you know what, I could probably do this. Wow, makes it a lot easier and better. Now we want it at an angle. So I'm going to go to object. I'm going to group it together. And to add a little thrill to it, I'm going to add perspective. And I'm going to make it go off at an angle and actually give a little perspective. That's not bad. That looks like a brick wall to me. Now, I'm off a little bit on that one right there. And since I've probably grouped it together, I probably can't change that. Tell you what, I want to make it perfect. Show this person how to do so I'm going to back up completely. And I'm going to grab that part. I just didn't nudge it over far enough. I need to go and break it apart, ungroup, get the shape tool, grab those two nodes and just nudge it over a little bit more. Now we're good. Now I need to group it back. Control G. Go to object, get the add perspective. If you don't have add perspective, if you've got an older version, you can always use the envelope tool and do the same thing. And you could play around with that till the you get it exactly where you want it. Now I want a two-point line. And I'm just going to come off here to a, a breadth thickness of a 
of a brick. And I, my line's not as thick. Well, it's good enough right now. Now I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and I'm going to grab it right there. I'm actually going to put it up. But we can also do this, control D and make a duplicate. As long as you put it on that node and then just keep controlling D up. But see, because we've added perspective, that doesn't really work. Because it's actually changed the dimension. So just do it by hand. It doesn't really matter. Control D. Now, it'd probably be better to just hit the plus sign so it will not skip up. Because if you're going to have to move them anyway. You might as well start from the start. So I'm just hitting the plus key on the keyboard. That way it won't keep jumping up. Hit the plus key on the keyboard. Get See that? I don't know if you can see it in the monitor where you get that X. That means you're going to move it without stretching it. Now we can take a two-point line and go from that node to that node. Now, we could actually color these bricks in a little bit different color. So if we go here and get the tool, we can grab that color and then make this one that we got a little leak. But that really, you know, in that case, that's not going to hurt us whatsoever. So we're going to use the Smart Fill tool, fill that in, and then nudge it over. Wow, it leaked too much. So let's fix the leak at one of these points. I'm not connected. So what we can do to fix that, let's grab these lines and take the two point line and come down the other side. Now we've still got a leak, but it doesn't matter. Now we're going to go to object, order, back a page so our lines will show. But we're also going to change this color to a little bit darker. So holding down the control key, we're going to add a little brown. See the difference? Just give it a little bit different shading. Now we can nudge it right back and nudge our lines back. And maybe I went too far with the orange, but that doesn't really matter. We're just trying to get the idea how to do this. Now, the same thing on the top. Because we've kind of joined those lines together, we're going to just match this line, hit the plus key, and don't do that. Get your pick tool back till you get to that line. Hit the plus key. And because I'm not zooming in, I can't really... See if I'm on the nodes or not. That one didn't work at all. And this, you, it'd be nice if you could do, do the duplicate, but you just can't because it's the perspective tool has changed that for us. We're the, and that's what we want. We don't want the bricks to be. Like their every piece is perfect. And you can see I'm off a little bit. But as long as you get that four point X, I call it a cross sometimes in the videos. Don't mean to, it just what it looks like a cross to me. Now one more. Now I'm probably not on that perfectly, I can see. I'm not, I'm not even close on this one. But you don't, and this is a case where I like using the shape tool, but you can't really use the shape tool because you don't want to distort the line. Now we're going to take another two point line from there to there. And we're going to see if we have a leak, which I'm, I'm almost guaranteeing we are. No. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to smart fill this and then nudge it up. Uh, there's a little bit of a leak, but it doesn't, as long as they don't leak into the main, wow, we did good. 
Now what I'm going to do is change this color and we can match the top. So I'm going to get the Smart Fill tool, go to my color, get my eyedropper, grab that color and then put it there and there and there and there and there and there. Now you need to remember to, and this is going to be, could have nudged it up further. I'm going to take the free hand pick tool and select all this. I hope I did. And I'm going to go to object and order and back a page. So that way our lines will show. And I did not get this one. I could have held on the alt key and got it. But see the difference? I don't have back a page. So go to order back a page and you're going to have your lines. Now, there is a vector wall of bricks. And I would change the color. I don't really like that. It may be a little darker than that red. Just give it some so it'll, you can kind of see a corner. Now, at any time, you can select all this and change your outline thickness to two points, you know, that actually does look better. Anyway, but that's a brick wall on a slant. I hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.